What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Hero Section Design Challenge. This week we're going to be taking on challenge number two, typography led. So we're going to be trying to use no images, just go big, bold typography. I want to do something that's really creative, really bold. We've chosen to do a health insurance company, just a fictional thing, just why not? And let's have a look at some out in the wild. So you've got AXA, boring, loads of stuff going on, right? There's about 20 different options I can take here. That's too much. Simply Health, much better, you know, get a health plan, one main call to action, this is good, social proof above the fold, this is good, a little bit of motion, bit safe, bit bland, um, this I just looks like a WordPress template, same here, just too much going on, too much going on here, you've got double nav here, you've got split double nav, so you've got left and right, really wide screen, difficult to read, you get a quote button with a glow, which is good, um, you've got some social proof here, you've got another nav bar here, which is insane. And then we have a look at Boopa. Yeah, she's like really aimed at old people, really aimed at middle aged to old people, I suppose, but just so busy. Look how many things are happening here. How on earth are you supposed to sort this out? But what a lot of them do is, you know, call us free on this number. That's good. So like I say, we're going to be trying to go typography led. We're going to aim at a younger audience, so we've got these vibrant colours. Uh, my business partner Nick has written some copy for us, so very basic. We've just got an H1, life-changing health insurance. Get rewards and discounted premiums for your healthy habits, so a bit of an incentive. And call to action to get a quote, and I think we'll have like a secondary call to action or maybe a banner or something in the top right with like a call, or maybe young people, maybe it's like a WhatsApp button, could be cool. Um, and what we are noticing in the world is that a lot of companies are going through kind of rebrands where they are starting to get a bit more punchy. They're going to, to top branding agencies, getting some really nice, clean, modern work done. Um, so hopefully we're going to see big companies like this come out with something a bit bolder and creative in the future. Maybe they'll come to us. Who knows? So let's start. So the best place to start for me is always just a real quick wireframe. I'm going to go with uh, enter to start with, we'll see how we get on. And I'm going to pump up some text like this. You can see it looks absolutely terrible at the moment. Let's change the heading there. Mm -hmm. And this should really be hyphenated like this. Let's just quickly scale it up, see what we're looking with. Since we're going typography led, we're going to go big type get our subhead in here. So I'm just really just chucking this on for now. And our call to action was going to be get a quote. So we'll just shift A to auto layout that. I'm going to go 32 left and right, 16 top and bottom to start. Give it a fill so we can see what's going on. Give it 100 rounded corners, just round it right out so it looks like a button. And um, we need a name. We are going to call this vital. And what? Obviously, I am not going to be designing a logo on here, um, but we will be coming out with a lot of videos, hopefully in the future, with Nick teaching you how he kind of works up a visual identity and everything that goes into. So stay tuned. Uh, so got a brilliant logo there. Don't tell anybody. Let's charge the client millions for that. And we need some navigation. So what would we want? We'd want something like rewards. This is a bit big. I'm going to bump that down to 18. Let's make a little auto layout here with our nav elements, 32 pixels between, because we always want everything to be four or eight. So we've probably got something like uh, rewards. What else would you have? Uh, contact, probably a good one. And uh, View plans. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am making stuff up. Uh, let's put a button up here. That button is absolutely massive. Let's not scan a bit and let's do call us free on make up a number. Like they always seem to have these numbers that are sort of quite repeated. And let's let's just pop this into that auto layout there. Let's center the auto layout vertically, align it to the right. And then let's do something with our nav like this, auto layout, double click this for space between. Let's set a fixed width of 1440, which is our artboard width and give it some padding top and bottom. 
the experience of having left and right. So let's give it 56 for now. All right, so this could work, right? We know if we're working just with no images, we should, in theory, be able to get this to work and look like a good design before we go any further, right? It should just work in black and white. That's what I was taught at design school anyway. Let's have a look if we can tidy this up and make this a bit more interesting. Now we're seeing no images. So we're not putting like a big half and half split. We're not putting an image or a pattern in the background, but I think we can pop in something to make this a little bit better. So let me just pause the video, have some tea quickly because I'm getting a really dry mouth. I'll be right back. Right, sorry about that. We are back. So let's see, how can we make this better? Let's do a bit of a rejig. Right, we can save some space there, which means we can make this bigger. We could knock this down, a line, maybe. Right, which then, if I just tighten that up a bit, if I hit K, I can get the scale tool and just kind of scale this up. We're not worrying too much about like exact positioning or typography sizes right now. And now immediately, that's a much better use of space, right? That's got a lot more impact. I might just see what happens if we put this into a bolder um, weight here. So we're in semi-bold. Let's try bold. Let's try extra bold. Hello. Let's try black. That could work. I kind of like the thin one, but I think maybe with these colors, I'm not sure on contrast. So maybe going bigger might be better. That could work. And then I think what we want is we want some kind of like, I think we want something in here that kind of like this. Oh, that wasn't too bad off the bat. So I'm kind of showing, I'm not using any graphics. I kind of want something to kind of subliminally suggest that something is going to get better. Obviously, the copy works to do that life changing. That's good. Get rewards and premiums. Like if you've got an incentive, you know, and the incentive is maybe kind of saying, you know, we're going to track some stuff. So it's going to go up and down, but generally it's going to go up. So I think this could actually work. And basically to draw that, I just held shift. So I got um, perfect right angles the whole time, which kind of works. So maybe if we just hit enter, we can just select this point, drag it down a bit. I'm trying to do this quickly for you guys. I'm not going to, you know, make it perfect, but I think we're in a pretty good place wireframe wise. We can see that the one on the right is definitely the strongest, right? So I just delete those back here. And now let's attempt to, uh, to color this bad boy in. So let's have a look at our colors. First thing I'm going to do is going to select my whole canvas, my whole artboard, and I'm going to go into my selection colors in Figma. I'm going to grab all my blacks and I'm just going to change them to this kind of softer black. Looks a bit too soft at the moment on white, but let's now just grab our background and we're just going to do a couple of quick color ideas. It's really annoying me that these are gray. So I'm just going to wait for now. But yellow, yellow is always good. Yellow, you know, in ultra basic marketing terms is like sales. Red looks terrifying. That looks like you're going to die. So we probably won't do red. Green looks pretty snaz. Greeny, bluey, turquoise, whatever you want to call it. Pinky purple looks pretty good. So we'll discount that one. I think it's between the two on the left. So let's have a look. I think we can try and do yellow and try and kind of lean into some of this green and purple for highlights. All right, let's just go. Let's go yellow. Yes, yellow. Right, let's see. Does this work in green? Kind of does. Maybe this needs a stroke. Let's add a stroke. Let's give it the this black color as a stroke. Let's have a look. It needs to be a thicker stroke. Let's bump it up. Maybe three. And then I think that this then definitely needs to be bold. And then let's caps it. And let's maybe give it a little bit more space. Make something quite punchy here. So intermediate 24. 
kind of looks okay. I think I'm going to leave that like that for now. Maybe that needs a little bit of space. So just add a 1% there. So let's apply the same styles to this button up here. Let's just paste a new button in here and type call us free on whatever it's a different number, who cares? And that kind of works. I think maybe this is kind of fighting, right? These two buttons are now both really prominent. I think what we can do, I kind of want to keep the button style the same rather than having two different color buttons. So let's maybe just drop this weight down to the font size down to 18 to match other navbar items. And then that's kind of sitting in the background a little bit more. And this kind of works. So what I do is when I'm designing is I just kind of always like drag a copy out and then just quickly like sub in our different options that we've got. I see that kind of works. Let's have a look if we just change the selection color to the red and the red again just looks like you've been stabbed. So I don't like that. I think I like purple, let's roll with purple. We're doing quick decisions here. And I think quick decisions is always a really good way to go when you're kind of at the idea generation stage of a project. So if we were working with a real client here, we would probably knock this up into something that looks pretty decent, but we know isn't perfect. And then maybe we do two or three variations. So that's maybe two or three color variations or two or three layout variations, depending on the branding. So maybe the branding has been signed off, so we can't really change the branding, but maybe we could do a few layout options. For now, we'll just do one. So we like this. So I think having a look at this from here, this needs to be thicker. So I think this should be closer to the weight of the font. So maybe let's bump that up a bit. Just do it by eye. I think if we make it as thick as the font, font it will kind of take over. So maybe let's do that. Feels okay. I'm going to drag a copy out to the side just so we've got it. I'm going to right click on it outline stroke and then let's kind of line it up like this a little bit by eye that looks that definitely looks better than the one on the left right yeah fine i'm just going to delete that we're making quick decisions right so problem we have here it's a bit flat so we need something to punch so maybe we could do something along the lines of not that. Uh, what did I press? So maybe I want to do something like, no, not like that. Like this. Stay with me here. Maybe we want to do something like this. This is mad. It's absolutely mad. You're probably thinking this is never going to work. But I'm thinking we do half and half, right? So let's copy this. Let's delete this, let's paste, and then let's delete that, and let's do that, and then we could do, get rid of the stroke on this, give this a fill, make this this color, here we go, and then we can give this a fill, and now we can make it a bit more exciting, so maybe we go like this, and that is much more exciting, I didn't keep my original, but that's kind of cool, but again, a bit flat. Look at all these colors we've got. Let's try. We know what's going to happen with the red, right? Absolutely disgusting. Right, so that red shouldn't be really used anywhere. Let's have a look at that. That's looking nice. Let's bump up this. Mm -hmm. no, let's keep it at four. I think that looks nice. And then I think this all this typography could be a bit bigger. And then I think perhaps we need to pop something around somewhere, oh, what does it need? Just, you know, hit by the rules and make a copy this time. Stop being an idiot. Let's make this a bit bigger, just using the scale tool. Probably a good idea to actually put some guides on now <laughs> and see where we are. And right, here we go. So just for doing that by eye, and hey, that wasn't that bad, actually. That was pretty close to lining up to the grid. Let's auto lay out this, and let's grab all of these items, and we'll just group them quickly, and then we can left align these. And then let's just make sure that snaps to the grid there. 
bit more space down there. Turn those disgusting grids off. It's looking pretty snazzy. I think the kids would sign up to this. And I think it just needs something to balance it. We've got this big gap here and I'm not being a client like, oh, there's loads of space on my design. Can you fill it? People do say that. Um, I'm thinking we do something mad like this. Give this a stroke, we give it the same black as this. Just pop a couple of circles. Maybe, you know, the website just has these big things floating around. Maybe these could uh, interact somehow. So maybe as you scroll, maybe they will move. Maybe they're like moving parallax. Maybe they scale. Maybe they change color. I think going from like a blue to a purple might be a really nice situation. We've got no red. So let's bring in some red. Here we go. That is bold. This is all verging on maximalism, which is uh, really not my not my bag. Right, so to be honest, I think we're pretty much there. I think the button is lacking a bit. Maybe it needs to be bigger. Maybe it just needs a bit more space left and right. Maybe this could be a bit bolder. I'm just slightly concerned about legibility or this getting lost because this is so big. And maybe we would have this mask reveal when the site loads. I'm just going to make that have a lot of impact. So we might want to think about maybe reducing the size of this up to semi bold. And then our button, we could perhaps go up to 40 left and right, 48 if we're being absolutely mad. I like that. I think now the strokes on these are a bit too much. I think they are taking too much power from this. So let's drop these down three so they sit in the background a little bit. So our buttons have got three. Yeah, so all the stroke weights then match. That's good. Let's just explore what these look like if they are in caps with a bit of space. Now, I think that actually makes it harder to read. A, they look too thin, too spaced out. Caps is quite difficult to read when it's small. So caps is fine here when it's absolutely massive and we've got short words. There's only four words to read. You can read this quite easily, but yeah. Do you know what? I think we're good. Let's just compare it to this. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Bang. That's got some market cut through, right? I know this is quite bold and it's a bit out there and you don't see many sides that look like this. It's kind of what we try to do here at Tonic. We try and we sort of say we design for difference. We like to find out what everybody else is doing and then look at where they are, plot them out on a matrix and then say, hey, there's a gap here. So we could fill this space that nobody's doing visually and tonally. And that is how they can kind of get some eyeballs on them, basically, which is what all our clients want in theory. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave this here. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Have I taken it too far? Is this absolutely mad? We've got three challenges left. So if you've got any suggestions, any industries that you'd like to see us design for, let us know if we have a quick look back at the next ones. We've got 3D illustration next, then some kind of image slider, and then a background pattern, which is going to be a really difficult one. So yeah, let us know what you want to see. Let us know how you're getting on if you're joining in and I'll pin a comment down below telling you how to send us your designs what we're going to do at the end if people do fancy sending us designs we're going to review them uh, live on a video or we'll pick our best and we'll run through the best and why we think they work or why they don't work etc just something so that you guys can learn something hopefully and again hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one